Take out your math notebook and title your next page, Flip Video Homework, with today's date on it. I'm going to go over three problems with you that you do not have to take notes on unless you'd like to. And then I'm going to give you five problems to solve on your own. Mr. Bunny has been asked to solve the following problem. Divide 89 by 24. He first starts by writing the problem as long division, and then he thinks to himself, 24 would be rounded to 20. So how many times can 20 go into 89? Now he's choosing to round 24 to 24 about how many times 24 can go into 89. So 20 can go into 89 four times. So the estimated quotient is four. That's what he's going to start with when he solves 89 divided by 24. He'll put four in the quotient because that's what he has estimated is going to be the number of times that 24 can go into 89. And off to the side, he's going to do some math to solve. Now he sees that it is 96. 96 is more than 89. We can't subtract 96 from 89. So that means that the quotient 4 is too big. We now should try 3. Since it was just a little bit too big, we're just going to try one number underneath. We'll try 3. So again, he's going to do some math off to the side, 24 times 3 is 72. He'll write that in and then subtract, and he gets 17. 24 can't go into 17, so that is our remainder. So the answer for this one would be 3, remainder 17. So again, we are rounding the divisor so that we can get a good estimate of how many times the divisor fits into the dividend. In this case, the estimate was four, but then we saw that that was too much, so then we tried three. So let's go ahead and try another one. Mr. Bunny was also asked to divide 78 by 26. So once again, he set it up as long division, took a look at the divisor, 26, and rounded that to 30 so that he could estimate about how many times 26 can go into 78. So when he rounded 26 to 30, he figured that 30 can go into 89 two times. So he's going to start with 2 in the quotient. So the estimated quotient is 2. So he's going to put 2 in the quotient and multiply off to the side. 26 times 2 is 52. He's going to write 52 in the answer, but he's going to find that it doesn't work. The quotient 2 is too small, and he's going to have to try 3. But here's why. If he were to subtract 52 from 78, the answer is 26. 26 is the same as the divisor. If you ever subtract and get an answer that is the same as or greater than your divisor, it means you actually could have fit one more group of 26 into 78. So the fact that we get 26 as an answer means we could have fit three groups of 26 into 78. So Mr. Bunny is going to give that another try, this time with the number 3. And off to the side, he's going to multiply 26 times 3, and he's going to get 78. When he subtracts, he gets 0, so it goes in exactly 3 times. The last problem Mr. Bunny was given was divide 473 by 78. Again, he sets it up as long division. And this time, the divisor is 78, which he's going to round to 80. So he's going to ask himself, how many times can 80 go into 473? And remember, this is like what we learned when we were multiplying and dividing uh, mentally in Unit 1. So we're going to look at 80. We look at the number 8. And then we look at the first two digits of the dividend, 47. And we ask ourselves, how many times can 8 go into 47 without going over? Well, 8 goes into 47 five times, except we're really looking at 473. So we put it above the 3. So 80 goes into 473 five times. So we're going to start with 5 in the quotient. 78 goes into 473 five times. Now we're going to multiply, and we get 390, which we'll write in and then subtract. Now we have a number that's greater than 78. 83 is greater than 78. So that means that we could have fit one more group of 78 into 473. So the quotient 5 is too small. So Mr. Bunny is now going to try 6. So we're going to cross everything out and multiply 78 times 6 off to the side, which is 468. 
So we're going to write that in and subtract. And when we subtract, now we have a number that's less than 78. So then that's our remainder. 6, remainder 5. Your turn. Complete the following problems neatly in your notebook. Remember, you can rewatch the three examples in this flip video for help. Make sure that you number these problems in your notebook, 1 through 5, so that it's easy for us to locate them when we review them tomorrow.